All right. Hello, hello, everyone. Hello. And we even have audio for the other two. I'm doing good today. <laughs> Um, all right, um, so welcome back. Uh, we are on the, what I think is going to be the final part of Turnabout Sisters um, for Phoenix Wright as attorney. Uh, so what happened last time? We finished up first day of trial. Um, basically, we found out that there was a second person in the hotel room with April May. Um, so our big thing was, let's find out who the hell that was, because if it wasn't us, and if it wasn't Maya, and if it wasn't her, someone's still got to be the killer. <laughs> We're really good at this, like, order of elimination <laughs> thing. Um, and basically, we went down this whole rabbit hole about how this information dude called Red White is blackmailing pretty much everyone in the legal system. Um, and he was the dude that was... I, like, lost my train of thought. Um... <laughs> The anyway. most apparently unsuable guy in the country. Exactly. Yes. Um, so he had a hand in the whole Maya and Mia's mom uh, thing, and that he was the dude that Grossberg told um, about the spirit medium, and it somehow culminated in her just disappearing and never coming back. Um, yeah. uh, and so... He's been blackmailing Grossberg for the last, like, 15 years, which is why Grossberg wouldn't take Maya's case. Um, we confronted him about it, uh, and now we are being accused of the murder. And he's going to testify today. So, Yay. we all ready for this trial? <laughs> yeah, and he's yeah. still a painting. Gave it up, blackmailed the yeah. painting. Yeah. It was still an ugly-ass painting, even if you guys thought it was, like, dinosaurs or something. I don't remember what you guys thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> September 9th, 9.52 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you... <laughs> uh, We're off to a good well, well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, Phoenix, what? Dot 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 oh, exclamation dot. point. I have no idea what that sound would be, but... <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth. I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. Uh -huh. I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony. If I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. Right. Because that's how law works. What? Does White have the judge in his pocket too? So, you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story. <laughs> I like winning. <laughs> I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Glad that includes a guilty verdict and possible death sentence for me, but thanks, ma'am. <laughs> what? Why? How can you comment an innocent person like this? <laughs> Innocent. <laughs> How can we know that? The guilty always lie to avoid being found. Also, they slipped the 20 under my- I mean, there's yeah. no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So, I make that my policy. I mean, to be fair, that is his job. Yeah. That's the whole point of the adversarial case system. Uh, Edgeworth, you've changed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Phoenix, you know him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Can you just, like, not kill me, ma'am? 
Please and thank you. <laughs> you wilks. Phoenix? Well, court will be starting soon. What? But wait. Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not. I'll be defending myself because I'm a goddamn lawyer and I don't <laughs> just carry around this badge for fun. <laughs> what? Okay. Is that an egg in her mouth? <laughs> what? Let's do this. <laughs> oh no. She had uh, no tongue. <laughs> September 9th, 10 a.m. <laughs> District Court, courtroom number one. As we sit here and wonder what is in Maya's mouth. Um, <laughs> I'm an egg. Uh, court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. And the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Because I can't trust anyone else to. Understood. Good. Very well, Mr. Edwards, your opening statement, please. Your Honor, my hair looks fabulous today. <laughs> anyway, as the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. Sorry. Hi, Siri. <laughs> Hi, Siri. <laughs> what up, Siri? <laughs> Uh, the prosecution may call its witness. Hey Siri, how do I, I what he's doing. become not guilty? <laughs> we know what the judge is doing on his table. <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like... It's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's going to raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. Am I gonna raise an objection or just let it go? Hmm. As much as I we want to. We gonna be start... petty today? Yeah, <laughs> as much as I want to uh, start singing, I feel like we should uh, raise an objection. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's be angry. Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an ex. <laughs> <laughs> we know. <laughs> I'm you owe a thingy to the court. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Faye? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm ever so sorry. Bitch. <laughs> Mabby. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, dot dot dot. At the time, I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Yeah. <laughs> Again, yeah. my sincerest apologies to the court. <clears throat> Excellent, Mr. Edward. I appreciate your demeanor. The hell, man. I'm hot. Great. He gets to show off, and I get nowhere. <laughs> Man, I'm glad I'm not Phoenix Wright. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. I think everyone should be really glad they're not me right now since I'm the defendant. <laughs> Here we go, Lieber. <laughs> please, please, take your full name. You wish to know the title of my person is? Jeez. Oh god! <laughs> Wow, you glittered and sparkled, uh, your name. <laughs> yes, that's what I said. Oh dear, do my excuses get here? Damn. <laughs> uh -huh. Name! These two are great together. <laughs> I ship it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Red White. But my friends call me Blanco Ni Nino. What? It doesn't, it doesn't have the yes sound, so Nino. Nino? Blanco Nino? 
Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes more sense. Um, <laughs> and the CEO, or talented the president of blue corp wow that's a lot of colors you just said did you know the victim is my fa me i'm yeah. oh, sorry <laughs> i don't i don't do you know the girl that we that was on trial yesterday is actually dead now and <laughs> yeah, everyone's dead uh, attorney's We're bad <laughs> That would be a negatory. No, I did not. Hmm. It's just negatory nowadays. <laughs> dot dot dot. Uh, you were the Gatewater Hotel. You were what? You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Getting a little hot and bothered at work. <laughs> yeah, he's so sparkly it turns me on. <laughs> Please uh, never say that ever again. <laughs> And you witnessed murder from there. Ahem. Uh -huh. Why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White, you may begin your testimony. Oh, if I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Because you are! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I know you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Are you gonna stab me right here? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> for murder. Let him have it, Phoenix. And Maya just wants to beat this dude. Uh, <laughs> witnesses account. She's gonna kick his ass. I know. Let's see. It was about nine, I believe. I was quietly <laughs> crucifying, or er, that's reading to you, peasants. <laughs> some okay. papers by the window. Me. <sighs> then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look. I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him. A spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. Bullshit. <laughs> I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. <laughs> the victim, she... She ran, ran away, but you gave chase. <laughs> Finally, there was a terrible impaction, and it was all over. Great! Hmm. I believe him. I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant, or I mean, Mr. Wright. Thanks, ma'am. Your cross examination. Yes, Your Honor. All right, before we go into cross examination, we're actually going to take a look at the. Uh, at what we've got for evidence, because we haven't looked at it in what, like, four days, five days? Um, okay. So we have our attorney's badge. Uh, we have Mia's autopsy report that states she died from a blow by a blunt object and may have lived for a few minutes after being hit. We have Maya's cell phone, which holds the conversation between Maya and Mia. We have the glass shards, which is the broken remains of a glass light stand and broken beyond recognition. We have the thinker, that's the clock, but the clock's gears have been removed. It was made by Larry, we know this thing. We have the wiretap. We have the receipt with Maya written on the back with blood. We have April May's testimony that states the victim dodged an attack and ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. And then we have the floor plan of our law offices. So we're just gonna start pressing yeah. I hope this oh, goes time. somewhere. How do you know what time it was? Oh, yeah. Because I'm always absolutely perfect. <laughs> <you know. laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting away with that. 
Poppins. Uh, you are so mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. So, what... Or what was the proper term for secretary again? Uh, secretary? <laughs> anyway, Miss May ordered room <laughs> service for 9 o'clock. It happened soon after the room service arrived. Mm -hmm. That's what Miss May said, too. Do we want to press further or do we want to hold back? I don't know. We haven't gotten this option before. <laughs> Press further. We're gonna press it then. True, the bellboy who brought the coffee saw Miss May. But he testified that he did not see you at the time. Huh? Uh -huh. This is your concern. you? Silly lawyer, Miss May received the coffee outside the room. Of course he could not see me. He would need x-ray vision to pull off something like that. Hmm. Tell us, what were you doing all that time? I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I was quietly perusifying her that's reading to the peasants. <laughs> the papers by the window. By oh, window? Like you mean the one directly across from Fay and Company Law Offices? Correct. That is the only window you see. And there you were reading... papers? Correct. Papers, I will never say. <laughs> the Gatewater is a businessman's hotel, and I'm a busy businessman who has business business to do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, then I okay. heard bedlam coming from outside. A bedlam? It must have been when you attacked, I assume. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, we see. Continue, points. <laughs> uh, surprise, I turned to look across the building across the way. Or actually, <laughs> <laughs> so, you were reading your papers until you heard that sound? But of course, I am no snoop peeping out of the windows at night. No snoop? Snoop dog. Yeah, right. You've made a career out of snooping. It was, uh, then I saw him a spiky haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Uh, s s spiky haired? He's <laughs> 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 a man with another than you, mm -hmm. Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> How do you know? What you just said <laughs> directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly mm. stated that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? <laughs> Sparkles. <laughs> Sparkles. Forty? Don't add them together. <laughs> how that works. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, whose side is the job John anyway? And what did you do then? Tell me. I called Miss <laughs> Called Miss May over. She too was surprised, of course. What was Miss May doing at that time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on TV, and was weeping openly. Did you know she had been tapping the Faye office phone? Objection! Uh -huh. um, irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I care not. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone of the Faye woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. I know. <laughs> uh, after all, I am El Presidente. You Hispanic now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't you hear? He's Blanco Nino. Please <laughs> <laughs> interview. Right. Uh, the victim, she ran away, but you gave chase. 
Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course! Comprende, I understand. Okay. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. <laughs> you gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? Sparkle. <laughs> As you know, I'm always absolutely perfect. Just like Barry Poppins. <laughs> Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. Do you see where the issue was? Yes. The victim ran left. Whereas Miss May said the victim touched an attack and ran to the right. Mm. Wait right there. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. I wouldn't say that just yet. Yeah, I don't. Um, <laughs> I caught you in one it? lie. <laughs> <laughs> you said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. I love how we're worried about that when yeah. earlier, like, mm -hmm. Red White was like, oh yeah, Miss May's <laughs> testimony about the assailant being a girl. Yeah, that was bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Oh, ho, ho. it's simple. You have misheard her. No, I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here. And the victim, here. If the victim ran to the left, as you claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? <laughs> Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Have you been murdered her? <laughs> hey, I don't think you're lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run left? So he did witness the killing? Wait a second. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Miss May's right and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Is Mr. White right? Is Miss May right? Or are both right? Both right. Both. <laughs> both witnesses are telling the truth. For once. <laughs> I doubt it. Uh, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain their conflict and accounts. What? <laughs> Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel. <laughs> what else did you mean? <laughs> if he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Fay and Company, of course. Oh, son. More specifically, he was standing here. Time to show the court where Mr. White was standing. Where was he standing? In the letter case! We're killing! Yes. Thanks, Elmo! <sighs> Are we now on an episode of Sesame Street? <laughs> yeah, yes. Sesame Street got real dark. <sighs> this is where he was. Look, when the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point to him, it would appear that she ran to the left. Hmm, please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. I totally didn't hear everything you just said. Yes, sir. Uh, really seeing as the current uh, theory is that I was the killer, I would like someone else to be standing in that spot, please. <laughs> <laughs> Order! I will have order! 
anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Yeah. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? R <laughs> <laughs> no, um, the postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, your honor. You guys gonna let me talk anytime soon? <laughs> no. <laughs> Indeed. They do seem a bit... Okay. Fine. Can we, like, not discount my theory before I can explain all of it? <laughs> Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> you provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing? The hilarity of your movement made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear. For this, I fault. Mr. Your Honor. Be allowed to testify once more. I completely changed what you said. Yeah, we'll <laughs> uh, very well, let's hear your revised testimony. This is perfect. Good luck. Yes. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. She ran to the left. Uh, Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely. And that is what I saw. Next, with her, her last drink, she ran to the right. Oh my god. You faced her and delivered the final blow. That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Mr. Lawyer. No, he don't. <laughs> that does seem to make sense. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you will be cross-examining the witness's testimony, I guess? You bet I will. I, I mean, yes, Your Honor. Alright, let's do some cross-examination. Do my job. Uh, Mr. May's testimony is correct, as was mine. What do you mean by that? I, I, I mean that we're both correct. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm about to explain. Ooh! You Americans are always so annoying. <laughs> it does not become you. What? Hey, buddy, you're an American too! Oh, there we go. <laughs> there it is. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. What do you mean, first? Good. That's what becomes. That, that's what comes before what happens next. You do speak English, right? <laughs> no, I uh, don't. Please sit back, relax. I will try to use simple words for your benefit. First. She ran to the left, and then, <laughs> and then you hit her savagely, and that's what I saw. <laughs> I didn't hit anyone. That's not an objection. I'm gonna raise yeah, an objection, to... anyways. <laughs> <laughs> not all, Your Honor. Not all. Objection. The witness is full of shit. <laughs> uh, there's no point. In things from this court. I'm not hiding anything! Objection! <laughs> the prosecution requests that the defense refrain from interrupting the testimony, even though we've been doing that this whole time. <laughs> That's right, you have been warned. Oh, God, red, red white voices coming through. <laughs> uh, next was the last of her strength, she ran to the right. What do you mean by next? Oh my god. <laughs> next is what comes after the <laughs> I know that! <laughs> that is all you need to know, Mr. Lawyer. 
I said she turned and made a dis desperate dash to the right. Now you chased her and delivered the final blow. Stop saying it was me! Why well, isn't me? Sparkles. <laughs> uh, Fox is hot. Mr. Wright, if you claim that it was not you, then she was proof. Huh. Can I do nothing right? Nothing? Doesn't they prove that it was him? Like, they have just as much responsibility <laughs> to prove that it actually was him as to be proof that it was for him to be not him. Anyway, may I continue? <laughs> uh, that's what I. That's what Miss May saw. So each of you saw different parts? Absolutely. That is right. Where did he pick up that annoying phrase? <laughs> That's anyway, my moving, al moving along. Uh, you see, you hit her twice. So were you watching both times? I suppose I was, you know, contradicted to what I've said. And please excuse me for not testifying to this sooner. What do you... What do you think, Phoenix? I think we've got him right where we want him. He slipped. Let him laugh for now. I'll soon wipe that smile off his face. Okay, so there's an obvious contradiction here. Uh, Miss May's testimony was correct. <laughs> so obviously we didn't hit her twice. Yeah, uh, the, um, the laptop seat. Yep. It says that she died from one blow. Mr. White. The victim died from a single blow. Because guess what? We have science. What do you have to say to that? I can't believe in science. <laughs> <laughs> Now's my chance oh, to no. hit him where it counts. It's a flat earth of two rainy. <laughs> Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely perfect? I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. You <laughs> ruined it. Your <laughs> Honor, if you could ask the Not witness funny. for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a 10 minute break for yes. my nerves. <laughs> yes, quite. I don't think so. The witness is confused because he's lying. I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice. Don't let him get away. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Very well. It's getting good. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. We're slipping out of this now, White. Bitch. Mr. White. <laughs> oh, he's losing it. Uh, okay. Or should I say Blanco Nino? <laughs> the two accounts. I don't think we're friends. <laughs> Um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard the thing fall. Then the next moment I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her. She dodged. And then, uh, she turned and ran to the door. Then you did her in with a single bowl. Blow. What? Just a Flap and teeth. Damn. <laughs> it's not gonna catch on, man. <gasps> Very well, you may proceed to cross examination. <laughs> Mr. Johanna. My stomach, you see. It's hurting. I've got a tummy ache. <laughs> Deal with it. 
This is almost over. But my tummy aches. You just have to pee, it's fine. You can hold it. I'll pee there. It's not good to hold it in. <laughs> um, um, well, you see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. What thing? Hold it! <laughs> you heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, oh, that. Um, the, the light, glass light stand. Right. The one that had fallen over at the scene. Doesn't something about that strike you was odd? Nope. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a little, a lot. Uh, yeah, that is odd. I'm gonna press further. Mr. White. Uh, what? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Yes. Then change your testimony to reflect that. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> the witness um, will revise his testimony for like the seventh time. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, of course. Uh, like Dan was lying on the floor when I looked. <laughs> How was it broken then? Well, here, here's the problem. You can see where yeah. it. It is, yeah. Hello, Sarah. Objection! Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the glass stand. What? Look at this. Those are the floor plans from the scene of the murder, yes? Why is he so surprised? He's seen them before. Correct, Your Honor. <laughs> look, he's going senile. It's fine. Um, <laughs> now look. <laughs> If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Mm. Well, Mr. White? What do you have to say to that? Bitch. <laughs> Mr. White. If you were You're in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell, either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fay Law offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. <laughs> Losing it. That man, oh, the, that, the demon he, has taken over him. We have uh, uh, broken him. We, broke, we busted him good. Uh, Mr. White? Not okay recording there, buddy? <laughs> Mr. White. He needs his apple juice. It, you Why did it, didn't right you? Now? <laughs> and I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for your meddling kids and your lawyer. Mr. Your Honor. I, I, Miss Mia. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get our verdict. Objection! Fuck you, Edgeworth. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's far enough, Mr. Wright. <laughs> what? Ugh, I forgot about Edward. How do you forget about Edward? Mr. <laughs> I have forgotten that I have been staring at him for the last, like, half hour. It's fine. <laughs> He's very sparkly. I think the time has come. Don't you think? Shouldn't you confess your crime now? Hmm... What? <laughs> uh, I said you should confess your crime. And pay me. I still need a paycheck. <laughs> Ergo. <clears throat> confess that you 
place the wire tap. Ah, uh, they cannot plug the wire uh, The wire tap? Excuse me? <laughs> Order! 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 <laughs> 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 the court, what do you mean by this? <laughs> Distinguished members of the court at the dot. <laughs> Mr. White is slightly confused. Oh, I think he's very confused. <laughs> Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. Me neither. I'm just BSing this. <laughs> As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Court. He ordered his secretary, Miss. April May to tab the law offices of Mrs. Faye. Or Miss Faye, sorry, she wasn't married. <laughs> <laughs> what does that have to do? <laughs> Your honor. <laughs> the question is when was the wiretap placed in the office? And by who? Who? No! You wouldn't! Oh, I would. <laughs> Mr. White. In order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Faye's office. Am I correct? Wink twice. <laughs> that means yes. <laughs> correct. You are both correct. Uh... Give me a break! Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Fay and Co. law offices. Uh, that's when I found the accursed life stand, yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, uh, hell no. Now I'm confused. <laughs> Explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edwards. Does your oh, stomach I'm hurt sorry. too, Mr. Mr. Judge? <laughs> Gladly, yo, Anna. <laughs> Mr. Phoenix Wright was made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. <laughs> I'm totally making this up right now. <laughs> very mur mur moment of the murder, obviously, <laughs> like, duh. <laughs> Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. Ah, uh, I am good. <laughs> <laughs> I paid attention I for the last five minutes. <laughs> I see. I see you remember your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. However, <laughs> it is a fact that Mr. White has been to the office well before the murder took place. When he went to place the wiretap, ah yeah, <laughs> he could have seen the glass light stand then. They want us to believe that the CEO of this whole company <laughs> went and just put the tap there by himself. And yep. <laughs> yeah. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the baseless conjecture it is. <laughs> Fuck you, man. It was a great theory. Mr. White. You will testify to the court about this wiretapping. Sparkle. <laughs> uh -huh. Leave it to me. I. I feel faint. All right, let's talk about the about the wiretapping. It was at the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Oh God! I had entered the Fay and Co. offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap, the wiretap that I definitely placed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I saw the, the glass light stand. Hmm. Sounds fishy. <laughs> so you saw the stand before the night before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by the sound. 
That's your echo location. <laughs> Are you right. a dolphin? <laughs> that is right. <laughs> I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine, but it sounds pretty legit to me. <gasps> what am I supposed to do now? He's my favorite dolphin. Good luck, Phoenix. Thanks, Maya. <laughs> Press R1. <laughs> we don't have any evidence for that. It's the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Hold it! Did, do you have proof? <laughs> Miss April May knew the details of Mrs. May's phone conversation. Why do I keep saying she married? <laughs> this proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Huh. Nah. Right. I talked about that, didn't I? <laughs> uh, it entered the same kill law offices. Yep, sorry. Forgot what I was doing for a second. <laughs> <laughs> was it really you that went to the office? Or was it Miss May? Um, unidentified fingerprints, several days old, were found in the Fane Company law offices. How do you know how old fingerprints are? <laughs> <laughs> Those were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edgeworth, hands. he's already run a check on those prints. And he's not gonna tell me the results. <laughs> I'm bowing. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the fame company offices. Just make it up. I'll just go along with you. <laughs> of course, I had to place the wiretap. Why did you tap me as phone? <laughs> um, this has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor, even though I totally made this up. <laughs> Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. Uh, that is when I saw the glass knife. Glass <gasps> knife stand. Why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? <laughs> I just, I just put something together. You know, wrong. All right, IKEA. Um, the light stand uh, was made entirely out of glass. Uh, it was quite stylish, so I guess I made a la it made a lasting impression on me, especially when she fell into it. Wow. Deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it. There's nothing there for me to press him on. Oh well. Maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. Guess we go for another round of pressing. Uh, let's see if we have anything new. Um, nope. <laughs> nothing new. Was it really you, or was it Miss May? We know that there's fingerprints. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> you placed the wiretap. Why'd you tap it? It's not relevant. I'm a shitty person. <laughs> uh oh! Don't tell me I've run out of ammo. Nope. Oh, just this. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. <laughs> the time has come for you to admit your defeat. I love watching you fail. You fought <laughs> honorably. It's my favorite sport. No more. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright? Are you giving up? Nah, bitch. Uh, Is there a certain piece of paper you have that might be helpful? Y yes, your honor. Now, Phoenix? Question uh, mark. Huh? Phoenix, over here. Over I know that voice. M Mia? Oh, it me. <laughs> <laughs> Never give up, Phoenix. Huh? M Mia? It's a ghost. I hope I'm about to pass out. It's fine. 
Uh, good to go. Where? Where am I? The Shadow Realm. <laughs> the waiting lobby? What happened? You died. Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Oh. Ooh, you're finally awake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there I go again. <laughs> you have an episode, aren't you? Hey, hey, Phoenix. Da, da, da. Yeah? That's no way to greet an old friend. That's a weird phrase, first of all. Phoenix, <laughs> I want you to look at me. Look me in the eyes. In my dead, cold eyes. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, wow, whoa, whoa. You're... Maya? Didn't you know the Fey women have strong psychic powers? Also, why is my sister not wearing a bra? <laughs> when you accepted your defeat in court. To be fair, their bust sizes are a little different. I don't think that bra would have held up. Uh, <laughs> Alright. It appears... Oh, wow. Oh, it appears that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. That's how it works. So... Yeah. Maya is channeling you, Mia? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Super wonderful. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. I look great in this dress, right? Maya never <laughs> gave up, and you can't either. <laughs> That's what I came here to tell you. From huh? the great beyond. But, but... We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Huh? Ooh. Excuse me? <laughs> You've already won. You have the receipt in the court record, right? Um, oh uh, yeah, the one you wrote Maya on? Yeah, you've been ignoring it this whole time. Phoenix, <laughs> why, why wrote that? Not me. So, so what do I do with it? Oh my god. <laughs> look, <laughs> look at the front of the receipt. The, why is no one... the front of it? <laughs> Yeah, because nobody bothered to turn it around. It, it's just a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. $1,000? Wow, big spender. Item, glass <laughs> light stand. Date of purchase, September 4th. September 4th! Aw, oh, yeah. That's right, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Whoa! Ain't I stinker? <laughs> now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? Hmm? Mm? Since the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said he saw the stand for the week before the murder. Ah, there you go. Okay, we'll turn it now. Okay. I think the court is about to reconvene. Reconvene? What? I can't read. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you are innocent, and now you just gotta prove it. Right! Receipt updated in the court record. I think the biggest thing about this is that apparently Phoenix did not notice that there was a whole glass light stand now in his office the day before yeah. the murder. <laughs> yeah. He was just like, yeah, that's been there always. <laughs> okay, September 9th, 1.16 p.m., District Court, courtroom number one. Court will now reconvene in the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The defendant, rather, are you alright, Mr. Wright? 
Sorry, Your Honor, I was just seeing some ghosts. It's fun. I'm fine now. <laughs> you tripping balls, Mr. <laughs> I, I was tripping balls, man. Uh, so let's start where we left off. The... <laughs> Ooh, Your Honor. Can you really trust someone who's tripping balls? <laughs> there is nothing <laughs> to go back to. The cross examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Mm. Your long. Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. Yeah, well, if you promise. <laughs> but as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? Please have an ego, Edgeworth. I have so many opinions. The <laughs> best opinions. I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Yes! Uh... Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. I'm just gonna sip my tea real loud. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we already know what the issue is. Yep. So we have the receipt, the, day, the date of purchase is the day before the murder. Objection! Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? Uh-huh. I don't know why we went to this tack on it, but, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, you're grasping. Firmly grasping. I think not. <laughs> look at the other side of the receipt, you know. The fact that we didn't bother to look at the front. Any of us. <laughs> the, oh my god. The other side. Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm. Whoa. A glass light stick. And the date of the person. Why not the day before the murder? Da 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 da! You see, Mr. White, <laughs> when you allegedly entered Fan Company Law Offices at the beginning of September, the stand court couldn't. Uh, <laughs> the stand couldn't <laughs> have been there. Oh, God. that's a lot of yelling. I'm not gonna do. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you, bitch? Not. No, it's. Oh my God. <laughs> Impossible. Impossible. Uh oh, words. he's losing it. Cool. Well, your honor. I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Take that. But. Very well. Then that is all for the trial of. Objection! Of yeah. course, Edgeworth. <laughs> I always object to everything, even if I don't know what I'm saying. Not so fast, <laughs> Phoenix Wright, if that's even your real name. Eh? What? No way can he worm his way out of this one! Oh wait, I forgot. It's, it's Edward. He is yeah, a it's me. It's me! <laughs> Thanks for noticing. There is a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete, um, yes, concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Sorry, it was uh -huh. <laughs> mm hmm Ergo, that's a big word. <laughs> I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I don't think so! <laughs> I like seeing people suffer. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Wait, you don't get to just show up to trial and be like, I need another day to prove my point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Another inquiry? Me. This isn't gonna be another one of those updated autopsy reports. 
this guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. Just as bad. Yeah, dude. Are we gonna object yeah, or do we wanna wait and see what happens? Object. Yeah. <laughs> obvious. Uh, Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There's no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edward. The judge just has a thing for people yelling at him, I think. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone is going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Even though it's very clear. Hmm. I see. I need to magically erase people's fingerprints from that receipt, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Objection denied. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, the completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. God damn it! No, there is no telling what will happen if I can't end this now! That's worth this sure to come up with- or just make up something. Hell yeah, I will. And after Mia showed up to help me all... Sparkle. Mr. Your Honor. May I go home? <laughs> You would like that, wouldn't you, big boy? <laughs> Please never call him that ever again. <laughs> uh, That's what they called. <laughs> the witness will stay, damn it! Mia! Phoenix! I grew taller. <laughs> Read this note out loud. Mia? What's this? Memo received from Mia. It's a list of people's names in Mia's handwriting. Your Honor, if I may, I have just pulled this evidence out of my ass. You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life is writing on this one. I have something that I would like to read to the court. It's my attorney's badge. <laughs> God, I hope so. The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. To stop, desist, help! Please, stop, make him stop! No. <laughs> how, how did you get that list? Mr. White? You going down, bitch. <laughs> Admit your guilt right here, right now. <laughs> or else, this list will be released to the press. I love how we're doing this whole blackmail thing right in the middle of a court of law. Oh! Mic drop. <laughs> Ow, actual pain. Sorry. <laughs> I, I confess, I confess. I I did it. I, I, I hit her, I hit her with the finger. I hit Miss Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep, I did the thing. <laughs> Kiss close, Your Honor. Boy. Damn it. As I sit here and awesome. go, I did nothing. Oh uh, well I see no reason to continue this trial. Uh, Mr. Wright? Y yes, Your Honor? Uh, you've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Y yes, Your Honor. I don't know that that was a compliment, but thank you, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirit it is. Uh, spirit uh, it was. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I finally see my wife. I haven't seen her in 500 years. <laughs> uh, this court finds the defense. Ding, ding, ding. Rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yay! Guilty! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Yay, confetti everywhere. That is all. The court is adjourned. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. September 9th, 2.24 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. Dot dot dot. But congratulations! You're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. Also, wow, my mole is there too. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you risked a lot to help me and Maya. I won't, for I won't forget it as long as I live, die. I was gonna <laughs> say, but you've already forgotten then. As, as long as you live. Or lived, whatever. <laughs> pass out. My time here is running out. Huh? YOLO. <laughs> Maya's powers are still weak. Unfortunately. I can't stay here for that long. What? No! There's still so much to say! Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. That's kind of ominous. Chief! Hee <laughs> hee. I'm not the chief anymore. I am ghost chief. <laughs> <laughs> Level up. <laughs> Phoenix? Can you come to the office tonight, say, 9 o'clock? The same time for a murder? The office? Yeah, there's something about 9 o'clock. I'll see you later. <laughs> chief, Mia! Magic hour. <laughs> September 9th, 9.02 p.m. Fan company law offices. I can't even arrive on time. You're <laughs> late by two minutes, bitch. Um, I'm the angry. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came. Mia. I was kind of worried you might not. That's, huh? that's weird. Of course I came. Well then, you're two minutes late. <laughs> I'm pretty hang hangry. How about a burger? <laughs> Mia? Oh. Blah <laughs> You should have seen your face, lol. Mia! <laughs> and it's what actually you... Maya. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's me, Maya. M Maya? Uh, what? <laughs> Did I look like my sister? <laughs> look like? Yeah. You were her! Hmm, I might be able to use that. <laughs> oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Uh, Maya, why are you here? I don't know, I had a feeling. <laughs> because of this! Got a feeling. <laughs> See, Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of... Huh? She doesn't trust you. My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> she means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new right and co law offices, right? And who better but me, Maya Faye, reporting for duty. Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick, Maya's here, ready to get down to business. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> you, you don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia said it's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick? Uh, you know what this means? We're partners. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault that I'm here now. But, if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right in company law offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Whoa, whoa. Oh, 
Good luck. Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. <laughs> I'll always, always be here, here, watch. <laughs> That's creepy. <sighs> I'm always watching you, Phoenix. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> right. Okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? To you get you some do burgers. What? Burgers. Get me burgers. Burgers. <laughs> Uh, let's... There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on. Time's a week. Uh, okay. They closed in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Wait up! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and we have finished up Turnabout Sisters. Woo! Yay! We, we did, it. did it! Hi. Alright, we, we have... Added a brand new episode on um, Turnabout Samurai, which we will get to next stream. Um, we are, yes, going to save. Um, so, I think we're going to end here for tonight, because I think it's a good stopping point. Um, next stream is Thursday, 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific. I remembered this time. Um, I don't have hey. anything else to say today. Happy Tanabata, and... Yay, Tanabata! Be safe. Ooh. Wash your hands. Really, wear your mask. Goddamn, wash your hands. Wear a mask. I don't want to die. Oh. Um, Same. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.